what's up everybody it's your boy Justin with Herbal Lifestyle and today we're gonna be up potting a mamey seedling that we recently planted in another video and if you have not seen the video on how to plant a mamey seedling I'm gonna leave that in the link in the description below so you can learn how to grow your own mamey from seed and then once you get to the size that it's at now you can learn how to up pot it in this video today and of course before watching this video don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe to Herbal Lifestyle if you want to watch new videos weekly. So this is the beautiful mamey plant that we've been growing from seed. We had a previous video where we planted this seedling and we had an updated video after that. Now it's time to get this one in a bigger pot because this one is actually restricting it from growing. So we want to get it in a better, more healthy grow bag or pot uh, this one right here is ready to be transplanted. All right, so the two things you'll need when up potting your may seedling are mycorrhizal fungi and a healthy living potting soil. If you don't know how to make your own healthy living potting soil, I'm gonna leave you a link in the description below. Even if you do know how to make your own living potting soil, I recommend watching mine because you might learn something new. All right, so before we get started, we need to make sure we got the right size pot. How do you make sure you got the right size pot? This one fits right in it. Um, there's not a bunch of open, extra excessive room in there. It's nice and uh, snug. So we know that up potting it to this size would be the right one. If we had too much space in between the old pot and the new pot, that would not be the right choice. We want it to be slightly snug, but we don't want it to be that this thing can get picked up with the pot and the bag together. That would mean that it's going nowhere when you try to up pot it because it's not gonna have any room to grow those roots. So the first thing I like to do is start putting soil into the pot. I just like to make sure I have just enough, which normally is the bottom of the pot. All right, so it's like the bottom three inches of the pot. So where we're at is about right here on that mark about two to three inches above the pot line so after that I'm gonna teach you guys my secret method to taking a plant out of a grow bag so the first thing you do is slightly push it in really just press it down I was I was applying pressure on the faces of this grow bag next I'm gonna put my hands we're actually gonna take off that leaf I'm gonna put my hands just like that so that my fingers are in between the branch we're gonna plop it over upside down and we're gonna take it out just like that and as you can see there we got a nice healthy root system that's just ready to be up potted I mean this this mamey has been growing so strong and so healthy it deserves a brand new potting soil. So, with that healthy root system, I'm gonna show you what we do next. So next ingredient is mycorrhizal fungi. So we're gonna take this right back out of that hole. We don't want it inside there just yet. First, we're gonna get our mycorrhizal fungi ready. Then we're gonna take this and pull it back so you can see the roots. The roots should be exposed so that this is possible. After that, you wanna sprinkle this in, which is again, the mycorrhizal fungi. We're gonna get a little bit right here. We're gonna sprinkle that all around those roots. You see that? Just like that. That's how you perfectly inoculate your root structure. One more thing you could do is sprinkle some into the pot just a little bit. Then you're gonna put it right back in the hole, making sure we don't damage the root structure. Perfect, just like that. Take the rest of your mycorrhizal fungi and just slowly try to pu push it up against that wall by like flicking it kind of like in a forward motion like that, all up against the, the walls of the soil. All right, so the next step is to make sure that this gets filled up all the way. So 
So, we shake it, press it, add a little bit more, make sure it's at the right amount. Normally I like to make sure that the original soil line is slightly above the new soil line just as if you're planting it in the ground. All right, so now that we have our mamey seedling up potted, which is looking just so mighty and gorgeous, it's time to add nutrients and water. One more thing we could probably do is actually stake this for the very first time. And if you haven't already, hit that like button for the very first time. So I recently discovered this fertilizer. This is actually a vegan mix. This is what I would prefer if I was ever going to feed my plants anything. So this is what I've been using. It's been helping out a lot. You can see it's a 3-2-2, and uh, 3 nitrogen, 2 phosphorus, and 2 potassium. You can see at the back, we have a list of ingredients that we like to look for. And right here, it says, derived from soybean meal, neem seed meal, alfalfa meal, rock phosphate, Lang Langbenite, if I'm saying that correct, green sand, and kelp meal. It also includes a little bit of humic acid. Here's a breakdown if you need to get a good look at that. It's a nice overall healthy nutrient mix. It's nothing pumping too heavy for your plants. And in my opinion, that's always better. All right, so when fertilizing, I like to use, you know, I, I honestly, I have this little tub here but the amount that we're using right here is probably about two tablespoons and that's what we're gonna put into this potted plant right here, just like that. So that was about two tablespoons and then you wanna just rub it in, rub it all around and that will get you your healthy plant that you're looking for. All right, so now that we went ahead and rubbed in the two tablespoons of nutrients, the next thing we got to do is water this plant. All right, so now we have our green pail, and we're just going to begin watering this plant. Normally what I like to do is water it until I see drainage, and then I stop. So just like that. Now we're gonna let that drain, and while we do that, we're gonna go look for a steak to use. Okay, so now we have a nice steak. We're gonna simply put it, yeah, I like it right here. We're gonna put it like a nice little brace for it to climb up, and we're gonna slowly try not to disrupt the roots too much, and get it in there. Now we could go ahead and tie this up. So personally, I don't like having to stake plants up. I normally like them to grow on their own and let them kind of grow wild. But in order for you to get a healthy seedling, this is something that's very necessary, especially if you're not planting it in the ground and you're planning on growing it in container. You're really gonna want to solidify how it's growing and its growing structure because it's, it's in a pot. And even if it was in the ground, and it was this young and it was gonna start taking off for its new uh, growth of life, I still wouldn't even want it to uh, be uh, free. I'd like it to have some kind of sturdiness, some kind of stability, in case if it rains uh, or there's heavy winds or anything, you know, gets top heavy. You don't want it to just fall over. That happens and you won't have a good time. So there we go, it's that simple. So basically all I did was I wrapped it around a couple times doing some simple twists and ties. And then at the very end, I made one knot on this side where my finger is. And then I looped it around. I made another knot on the other side, giving it a nice loose area. And basically when it starts outgrowing that, all you gotta do is cut it. Just cut the string. Don't, don't, don't worry about it. Don't choke out your plant, just cut the string. So now that we went ahead and finished 
doing every single step to up potting this mame seedling i just want to go over the steps that we applied to make this happen the first step we did was make sure we were using a living healthy potting soil the second step was to add mycorrhizal fungi to the roots if you don't know what mycorrhizal fungi is mycorrhizal fungi is obviously a fungus based off of its name it attaches itself to your roots and it stretches out and looks for nutrients available within the within its means it can also attach to other roots and send nutrients back and forth between plants it also is going to look for water and retain water for your plant and then if you had too much water it's going to make sure that that water does not get the roots to cause it root rot another thing that's really great about it is it defers uh, negative pests like negative nematodes and bacteria and fungus so you don't have to really worry about adding some like copper fungicide or some random nematode killer you know this is going to be a nice healthy soil for you as long as you're using a healthy soil and mycorrhizal fungi next thing you want to be using is a nice healthy fertilizer the one we're using is a vegan mix that way we know we're getting the highest quality of food for our plants then after that we rubbed it into the soil we watered it, then we staked up our plant and tied it with a simple knot. We made sure that that knot was not choking out the plant and it had room to wiggle and grow. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to watch more videos, don't forget to subscribe to Herbal Lifestyle so you can watch new videos weekly. If you feel like this video can help someone out, go ahead and share it with them. And if you have any questions about growing mame from seed, or if you have any stories that you would like to share, Go ahead and leave them in the comments below so I can read them and reply to them. This is your boy Justin with Herbal Lifestyle. Live your life free and keep on growing.